The former finance minister Ignatius Chombo has won a temporary injunction stopping the government from subdividing his farm in Jimba. Chombo told the High Court that he was in occupation of the 3,099-hectare Alan Grange farm in Jimba for 21 years before lands minister Enchas Masuka initiated moves to subdivide the property and resettle other people. Early this year, Chombo said he was saved with a letter of cancellation of his 99-year list dated September 25th, 2021. On March the 23rd, 2022, he then received calls from Lens officials under Masuka's instructions informing him that his farm was subject to repegging. He wrote to the minister challenging the takeoff of the farm but got no response. Instead, on March the 29th and April the 4th this year, some officials from the ministry started the repegging process. Chombo has won a temporary injunction in the High Court pending the outcome of his main application in which he is challenging Masuka's decision to parcel out his farm. An order granted by Justice Lu Simangwari said, the interim interdict B and is hereby granted. The minister and all those acting through him B and are hereby interdicted from conducting a repegging exercise and settling of new occupants on Chombo's farm, namely subdivision 1 of Alan Grange Farm and the district of Jimba in Mashonal and West, measuring 3,098.81 hectares. Masuka and all those acting through him be and are hereby interdicted from interfering in any way and form with farming operations on the farm by Chombo, his assignees and agents. In an affidavit filed at the High Court, Chombo said sometime in January this year, Masuka sent some officials to call him, telling him that his farm was subject to repegging without notice. He was, however, told that other farmers would be resettled on the farm. Chombo said he was allocated the farm in 2001 and subsequently got a 99-year lease agreement that was approved in the year 2006. Now, about 504 hectares of arable land under, under irrigation has been planted with soya, maize, and potatoes. More importantly, I have prepared the land for wheat plantation with May 1, 2022 as the priority date for seeding. Chombo has said. The other piece of the farm is reserved for cattle and goat ranching and I've got about 150 heads of cattle and 100 goats. Chombo told the court that he has made substantial developments at the farm including construction of farmhouses, workers quarters, a dairy center, a storeroom, granary, shed, purchased various heavy farming equipment and electrified workers houses. He said he also employs 80 full-time and 150 part-time workers. In 2018, he partnered with the government and the third-party investor known as Perry Investments Private Limited and invested over 3 million US dollars during the past two years in farm infrastructure, he told the High Court. Unknown to him, Masuka replanned the farm by making 10 subdivisions which he offered to other beneficiaries and he insists without a proper withdrawal of his lease agreement. Chombo is the latest of former loyalists of the late President Robert Gabriel Mugabe to have their farms repossessed by the government of President Emerson Monangagwa, which they accuse of vindicating.